Welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to another one in my Devon series. Today I'm in the South Devon town of Brixham. Come here for a little bit of wander. It's going to be mainly a collection of video clips and photographs I've taken around this most charming, historic and important town in terms of fishing. It still remains an important fishing trawler port as well. Also for wildlife, I have behind me here two grey seals. It's just the start of the mating season. I'm going to swap my lens over now, see if we can get a couple of shots of that using the old telephoto lens and then we'll have an explore around the town here. Hope you enjoy it. Now this part of Brixham, there's plenty of caves around here. We're just below Battery Gardens at the moment, which was once an important defensive point during World War II. It's been great returning to Brixham again, where I used to work two and a half years ago. And uh, like I said, this is where uh, West Country Wanderings was born, really. Really delightful to see those seals. I'm heading into town now. I'm actually meeting up with a couple of people that I used to work with. So that's really good. We're going to have lunch there. I'll just close the video down by Oxen Cove, which was, well, it was a proper cove back before the 1980s. It's gradually been filmed, filled in now, but uh, that is where it's like the edge of where all the trawlers go in to deliver all their goods they've got from the sea and then on to market. Just to my right, your left, is Brixham Laboratory, Marine Laboratory. It's an offshoot of Plymouth University, which was built, I think, around 20 years ago. Obviously, Plymouth University, based in the city of Plymouth, some 40 miles to the west of here, where we are in South Devon and Brixham. But Oxen Cove formerly was in there. We'll have a closer look, because you can walk down these steps and follow the parapet around, which is always good. Thank <laughs> you. 
and been fortunate enough to capture some good light this morning, my early morning start here at Brixham. Been really enjoying my wander around the town again. And there's even bits and pieces of Brixham which I don't even remember from when I worked here. And in actual fact, I lived just over the other side of the River Dart, just above the town of Dartmouth. I'm hoping to do, fingers crossed, a video around Kingswear, maybe catch the ferry from there as well. So we're just coming up to Oxen Cove now. If you can see that sign there, you've got the Dartmouth Crab. There it is, lorry there. <laughs> Dartmouth Crab Com Company suppliers of quality shellfish, and that's one of the things that Brixham is famous for and all the goods in and a lot of it goes out to restaurants in and around the London area.
I've now just come around to Shoalstone and its open air seawater swimming pool. Wonderful location here with the rocks as well, much of interest. Got full facilities here, there's a cafe and restaurant, public tournaments and parking. It's sandwiched between Breakwater Beach, which is the beach the other side of Brixham Breakwater, and the hotel, the Berry Head Hotel, famous hotel here in Brixham. Just enjoying the views here today. Wow, just absolutely fantastic right across the whole of Torbay. Well, that's it for today here on West Country Wanderings for this tour of Brixham. It's not an extensive tour, there is so much to this wonderful South Devon town and I'm sure we'll return back to Brixham again at some future point. I know it has been two and a half years since I was last here, hopefully it won't be as long before I return and make another video in this wonderful area. Till next time on West Country Wanderings, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you on the channel again very, very soon. All the best for now. Cheers. Bye-bye.